Shalom, Shalom. All praises, all and glory be unto Yahweh. Bahashem Yahushah. Bahashem Barakakotash. Tabla no santi apostle. So that's a great most on Shalom. Ti Akiam Kosafo Konas. Laboring in sincerity and truth of heart for the sealing of the nation of Israel, the twelve tribes of the nation of Israel, the elect out of the whole nation of the, of the, of the nation of Israel, which are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay. And those of your descendants scattered among these different heathen nations. Hey, getting hell is a guarantee, all right? There's no way around it, okay? No way around it, all right? So the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 1, verse uh, 20. Verse 23, all right, this is Ecclesiasticus, chapter 20. So like this is Ecclesiasticus chapter 1 verse 23 a patient man will tear for, for a time and afterward shall uh, and afterward shall Salakia so Ecclesiasticus chapter 1 Sarak so chapter 1 verse 23 a patient man will tear for a, for a time and afterward joy shall spring up unto him all right we patiently suffering, man. All right. All right. It is a must to suffer, because right. our Lord suffered. All right. Yahweh Shah was a man acquainted with grief. All right. The same thing that's happening unto us right now that we are being acquainted with grief. Beginning with the apostles, I was afraid most of the men have been living way, way before. All right. And as an end result, the elect are the ones who are going to suffer all right, from the word go un until the end. Un okay, until the elect be delivered from among men, the same sufferings must happen. All right. And endurance, is, is, it is a must. Okay. And Yahweh Bashim Hashem must be, be, be dealing with you in order to, for you to, to overcome all these different hurdles. These challenges, which which are, which we're gonna have to 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 be facing, okay. He says a patient man will, will will tear for a time, okay. Whatever season, that whatever um, uh, tribulations, or uh, challenges you may be facing, it because it is time for you to catch that hell, okay. It is time for you to face uh, to, to to face those challenges and to, to, and to grow far beyond them, okay. Constantly endure, like it says here in Ecclesiasticus. All right. cool. In fact, let me just get this uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 2, verse 1. It says, My son, if thou comest to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Say that thy, uh, thy heart are right, and constantly endure, and make no haste in, in, uh, in time of trouble. Okay, we must constantly endure. All right, time and time and time and time, we must be be enduring all the hardnesses of the souls of Yahusha, Hamashiach. Okay, like the scripture says in Timothy. All right. And hey, the fact still remains until you start catching it for the first time, you Musa tries to start uh, uh, chastising you as a son or as a mother. Okay. Hey, you're gonna truly start understanding uh, these scriptures, okay? You're gonna actually start un understanding what does it mean. Prepare that soul for temptation, all right? <coughs> you're gonna start learning what what it actually means to to prepare that soul for temptation, all right? Because after you start catching up for the first time, mm -hmm. the second time when it comes. It's not going to be as easy as before. Things are going to start getting harder and harder. All right. Th that's why the scripture says you must, we must be, uh, we must be uh, what to be rooted up in the truth, man. Okay, having our law in scripture the back of this truth. All right, P putting the whole armor of Yahweh Pashmi Yahweh Shai. All right, Ecclesiastes chapter two verse two says, "Set thy heart aright and constantly endure." And make 
no haste in, in, in time of trouble. It says, cleave unto him and depart not away. All right. That thou, that thou mightest be increased at the last end. All right. At the end, we're not looking for the reward in this time around. Okay. We're looking for, 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 for the increase at the end. All right. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 1 again, verse 20, 20, 23. A patient man will tear for a time, and after what joy shall spring up unto him. At the end, at the end, Yahweh Shah was made Amen. He 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 was made flesh. It's like unto unto his brethren. Alright. But at the end he was exalted higher than the angels, man. Okay. He had he had he ended up obtaining a more excellent name, okay, because well, cause he endured affliction, okay. So the same thing that we must do, all right, is uh, 2 Timothy, okay, chapter 3, verse 23. Mm. All right, it says, uh, so therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh HaMashiach because well, it is expected of those who are of Yahweh to go through tribulation all right that's why it says second Timothy chapter 3 chapter 2 verse, verse 3 it says therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh HaMashiach all right because all the, the, uh, the disciples of Yahweh Shah, the, the ones they, they were all, got, they, they all ended up being killed. Man. All right. all, every last one of them got stoned, got their heads chopped off. All right. Only John the, John the John the Revelator got survived, man. and he himself he survived that of old age because he was put uh, in prison man, on a, on an island. Okay. So we must endure all hardness. So Second Timothy three and two says, therefore, uh, endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Hamashiach. All right, we, we we must separate ourselves from 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 this world, man. Okay, although we be in it, so therefore, what 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 must we do? We must make use of it, but not as abusing the world. Okay, verse four says, no man that woweth entangle himself with the affairs of this life. Because once you get yourself in time with the affairs of this life, it's going to be difficult for you to 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 war this 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 battle between, okay, the spirit and the flesh, okay. The flesh, obviously, is weak, but the spirit is high, is willing, okay. And your spirit must be, our spirit, even me myself, and must constantly, constantly must be, uh, 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 be be willing. And in order for that to happen, okay must be striving to get the inward man be renewed day by day by feeding the spirit the things of the spirit man. all right constantly okay not only just in word but just saying i'm gonna do this do that no man we must do these things man okay apply uh the scriptures all right it does not okay it does not uh begin with the man next to you but it begins with me i myself Alright. This is on Second Timothy two and four it says no man that both entangled themselves of the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. Alright. It is pleasing unto Yahweh Yahweh Shah for us to go through these sufferings. Because we've been what well, we've been refined. Alright. Through what through the five through the fairness of affliction. We are, we, are being, we are being made perfect, all right? Because you don't want to fall into a position of Malachi, the third chapter, man, all right? So when you see all these sufferings being but for in, in vain, but it's not in vain, okay? A reward is coming. That's why scripture says in the book of Hebrews, he that comes to serve Yahweh, Shem Shah, must believe that he is, all right? And that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. All right. There is always a reward guarantee. Whether you're doing good or bad. Whether it be evil 
or righteous, the reward will follow suit. Okay? That's why it says in Revelation, and their works do follow them. We don't want uh, the rewards in this time around. Because we're seeking for the kingdom to come. Uh, this is uh, the book of uh, Malachi 3 and 14. Instead of 13, it says Malachi 3 and 13. 13 says, Your words have been styled against me, saith Yahweh. Yet ye say, What have we spoken so much against thee? Ye have said, It is vain to serve the most high power, Yahweh. And what profit is it that we have kept his ordinance, or those who endure for a season? Like it says, uh, the first of the, in, uh, the parable of the soul and the seed, or uh, they got God. They got themselves choked with the affairs of this world. Okay, that says uh, Malachi 3 and 14. Ye have said, It is vain to serve the Most High Power, Yahweh. And what profit is it that we have kept his ordinance and that we have walked mournfully before Yahweh of hosts? All right, says, says that we have walked mournfully. What purpose are itself? That's why you end up seeing guys set, end up setting out. You have guys who's now switching up the doctrine, because uh, somehow in, in their eyes, in their carnal eyes, not being spiritual, they, they, don't, they don't actually not even aware that the reward is coming for being diligent. All right. All right. Move this again. It says Malachi three and fourteen says. You have said it is vain to serve the Most High Power Yahweh, and what profit is it that we have kept His ordinance, and that we have walked mournfully before Yahweh Bashmi Shai of Host? All right, because you you gotta walk mournfully, man. All right, with all sincerity. All right, because the sacrifice which Yahweh Bashmi Shai is dealing with is that of a co of a contrite heart and of a bro of a, a broken spirit. Okay, cause, 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 cause most of of you, of 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 Jake, uh, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The thing is, when you see when when you see uh, judgment not being executed speedingly, that somehow ends up uh, uh, being what that um, seems to, to 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 get your spirit down. No man. Every the, with everything there's time and season all right judgment has been preserved all right, for all the wicked doers man. the most high have already said in the book of Zephaniah Zechariah says look man it shall, it, it shall, it shall come to pass man the two, two thirds of him, two parts of him shall be cut off and die all right and we and we know we know this for a fact the most high is not a man that he should lie all right he already declared the end from the beginning, man. You, your two thirds will never enter in into the rest of of your house, Hashem or Shai, man. All right. Only the elect are gonna make it. All right. Cause, well, cause the rest have, they have been been, been blinded, blinded. Okay. Now, for uh, so was the first fifteen Malachi three and fifteen. All right, it says uh says uh and now we call the proud happy yea that the what the they that they that work wickedness are set up yea they that tempt the most high are even delivered it seems so but guess what man it is not so all right we know it this for a fact man do a sinner uh transgress a thousand times yet we know shall be good with them that fear Yahweh you know, roughly paraphrasing, like it says in the book of Ecclesiastes, all right, but yet we still know that a day of judgment is coming, man, all right, when all of this wickedness is going to be required at their hands, all right, no will we be exempt, we'll be of that number, all right, the last scriptures, uh, Psalms 34, because this, this is a must, because the Most High deal, deals with us as, as sons, not as bastards. That's why we must go through this, through uh, this tribulation, these challenges, these obstacles. 
All right. This is uh, Psalms, Psalms chapter 34, verse 19. It says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but Yahweh delivereth him out of all out of them all. All right. Just just like as Job speaks about all these different tribulations, these different uh, calamities. He says, but, uh, but in the seventh, none shall touch thee. All right. Because guess what? The elect are still going to make it through. Okay. They are, they are the ones who are going to endure all things as good soldiers of Yahweh Pashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Doing things which are pleasing unto Yahweh Pashim Yahweh Shai. And until the end, all right, because scripture says, He that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. All right, with that, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh. The Pashim Yahushua, Pashim Rakakutash, the Lord's unto the Apostle, Salah, the Great Mosul, Shalom, Si Akim, lifting up the banner for the city of the, of the nation of Israel, the elect of the nation of Israel, Shalom.